What is up, guys? I hope your week's been well. I know mine certainly has. Over the weekend, I got to go to PA HorrorCon in Pennsylvania. It's run by the same people that run New Jersey HorrorCon in Atlantic City, except this was a lot smaller, but I think it's mostly because it was their first year doing it. Unfortunately, a lot of people that I wanted to meet had to cancel last minute, like William Ragsdale and Tiffany Sheppis. Well, I went Sunday and William Ragsdale was only going Saturday because of Henry, and he had to go back up to his house. Although the con itself was small, I did get to meet a lot of cool people, uh, six to be exact, and I'll show you all the autographs, I'll tell you little stories about each one, tell you the price, and yeah, just go over them. The first autograph that I got was easily the person that I wanted to meet the most, Mark Holton from the Leprechaun franchise, or also he was in Pee Wee's Big Adventure, Francis, but in the Leprechaun franchise he was Ozzy, and he was in the first Leprechaun, and the newest one, Leprechaun Returns and he signed in gold the leprechaun's collar. Uh, he wrote Mark Holton and then signed Ozzy. He was nice, he was $40 in autograph, which I don't think is that bad, especially someone that's like as iconic as him, you know? Um, leprechaun's really big, to some at least. And then Pee Wee's Big Adventure, Tim Burton's first movie. How much bigger can you get than that? He was really conscientious about where he signed because he knew that maybe in the future I would get more people on the front of this. Uh, probably not Jennifer Aniston, although that would be really awesome to get her on this. But, you know, Warwick Davis, I know, does cons. Uh, probably a lot of the other people that are in the movie do cons from it. Uh, what's his name? Robert Gorman is Alex, you know, his, his kid sidekick. So if he does cons, that'd be really cool to get both of them on here. So, yeah, it was really cool meeting him. The next person that I met was probably the biggest person there, uh, fame-wise, but he didn't really have a line ever, but he was really nice. Eric Roberts from the movie Ambulance, uh, Julia Roberts' brother and Emma Roberts' dad. Uh, he was really nice. He was also in The Dark Knight, which I really like, but my favorite movie that he was in was The Ambulance. Uh, if you haven't seen it, it's a Larry Cohen movie. If you know who Larry Cohen is, that kind of describes what the movie's like. It's really, It's really cool. It's really fun. James Earl Jones, Darth Vader, is also in the movie. Uh, he plays like this really anger management cop, but he's, he, it's kind of funny in a weird sense, if that makes sense. Like it's not straight up comedy, but it's it's just so strange that it, it, it makes you laugh. But he wrote Cameron, Respect, and then signed Eric Roberts. And he has a really funky looking signature. It kind of comes in a circle, but I think that looks really cool. And I think it came out really good on this because it's a really crowded Blu-ray cover, but the signature shows up and so does the personalization. He was $40 in autograph, and I honestly don't think that's bad at all, considering that he was a kind of big part in The Dark Knight, one of the biggest movies ever, and then he was in uh, Pope of Greenwich Village. So yeah, definitely not a bad price at all, $40. The next person I met is someone that I already met before at a previous con. However, first off, they were so nice, I had no problem meeting them again. And second off, I had something else that I really wanted them to sign. Felissa Rose from the movie Sleepaway Camp. She was $40 in autograph, and if you brought your own item, she signed an 8x10 at her picture for free, and you also got a picture with her. So you got a whole bunch of stuff for just $40, which I think is awesome. On my Sleepaway Camp box set, she wrote to Cameron, meet me at the waterfront after the social, and then signed Felissa Rose. And if you don't know, that's a quote from the movie. But I think this came out really cool. I really like the, the black on white. I think it really stands out. And then the picture that she signed for me that I picked out, I think it was easily the coolest picture there. It's a picture from behind the scenes. She wrote to Cameron, don't throw me in the water, Felissa Rose, and then wrote her character name, Angela. And for those who don't know, uh, they had to make a mask of her face to put on someone else. Why? I'm not going to tell you. If you haven't seen the movie, watch the movie because it has one of the creepiest endings in any movie ever. But yeah, I think this picture is really cool looking. I think the autograph came out really good. So Felissa Rose, VIP of the con. <laughs> okay, so the next person I met from the con, I have a little bit of mixed feelings about. I met Dave Sheridan from the movie Victor Crowley, although he signed my hatchet poster, which is the first one in the franchise. I thought he was really nice. In fact, of all the celebrities that I've met at cons in my entire life, and I've been doing them uh, rather consistently for the past three years, I've talked to him easily the most. Usually I talk to a celebrity at their table for two minutes and that's that's actually kind of a long one so i'm gonna say honestly 30 seconds to a minute but i was probably with him for 15 minutes so he was definitely really nice however the bare minimum you can spend at his table was a hundred dollars don't get me wrong i think he was a really nice guy but a hundred dollars an autograph that's the most i've ever spent on anyone but he signed my poster he wrote 
I would have had your babies, Dylan Time, Dave Sheridan, which is a quote from the movie. He wasn't just creeping on me. <laughs> But I think is I think this came out really cool on the poster. I like it when they sign in silver, kind of kind of matches the hatchet. But a hundred dollars. But for that a hundred dollars, you got a signature on an item that you brought, and he also gives out eight by ten photos signed. These headshots are actually seen in the movie Victor Crowley, which I think is actually like a really clever idea to sign something like this. He wrote Cameron, stay cool, stay in school, Dylan McMaster, which is his character name. And so, I, yeah, I think that's really cool that it's kind of like a prop from a movie that he's signing. He didn't sign it Dave Sheridan. He signed it like the actor name that he was in the movie, uh, which I think is is kind of clever. But I just think it's a little strange, $100. He was in costume and you did get to get a picture with him. He was in costume as Doofy from Scary Movie. I think that's really cool and all, but the fact that you had to get a picture with him for $100, I hated the movie Scary Movie, so, you know, for me, it just wasn't worth it. Uh, the handler, actually, at first, I just said, can I just have an autograph? She said, yeah, $40. And then later on, Dave Sheridan was like, no, 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 the bare minimum you can give me is $100. So I have to cough up $60 more, which I think is crazy for someone that isn't that big. No offense to the guy, very, very nice, but still, $100 is $100. The next person that I met was someone that I really wanted to get on a poster that I had. Stephen Jeffries from the movie Fright Night. He plays Evil Ed. Uh, he wrote to Cameron, then signed Stephen Jeffries and wrote Evil Ed. And a little quick story about this poster. Years ago in 2018 at Boston Fan Expo, I got Chris Sarandon, my first signature. And then this poster went not another signature adding to it for what, two years? And then finally, at Monster Mania Con, the week before this con, I got to add Amanda Bierce, and I was so close to finishing it. I was going to add William Ragsdale right here, like right signing right on the house. I thought that would have been cool. But unfortunately, he couldn't go the day I was going, but he, it was because of Hurricane Henry, so I get it. Uh, so I'll meet him at a future con, hopefully. But Stephen Jeffries was really cool. $40 in autograph, but he was, he was really nice. He kind of took his time with people. We talked about the movie for a good amount of time. I was at his table for in total, maybe 30 seconds to a minute, but he had a kind of big line. Uh, well, then again, no one at the con had a line at all, really. Um, there were like maybe 200 other attendees like me at the con, which I actually kind of prefer the small con, so I'm not complaining. Last but certainly not least, I think was probably the coolest experience of all the celebrities that I met there. Diane Salinger from the movie Pee Wee's Big Adventure. At the con, Diane Salinger the entire time was actually in costume as Simone, the character that she played. Uh, and I thought that was really cool. So of course I had to get a picture with her. Um, it was $30 in autograph, but 45 for the combo. However, on me, I only had 40, but she said, you know what, we'll just take the picture anyways, it's okay. So she wrote, au revoir, Cameron, which is a quote from the movie that she says to Pee Wee. She's like, au revoir, Pee Wee. And I think that's really cool. She drew a little heart and then wrote Diane Louise Salinger and then her character named Simone. And I actually already had Paul Rubens on here. He kind of signed a little weird. He wrote, hi Cameron, your pal, Pee Wee Herman, and then signed Paul Rubens. So I think this is really cool that I got two characters from it, especially one of the main ones. Uh, I was thinking about getting Mark Holton on here from uh, that I got on my Leprechaun DVD, but you know, I got him on something. I'm not gonna complain. So yeah, she was definitely really nice, really took her time with people. I was with her for like five minutes and we were also talking about Batman Returns, which is one of my favorite movies of all time and easily my favorite Batman movie. Sorry to those who like The Dark Knight more. All right, those are all my autographs from the cons. Believe it or not, I didn't buy anything else uh, from any of the vendors. Usually I buy a Funko Pop or two to display in my room, but no, there was nothing that I really wanted or it's also because I ran out of money because I spent a lot more on autographs than I thought being that someone was $100. But yeah, I had a really good time. If they do this show again, I'll definitely return to it because I thought it was really well organized. And I, I kind of like the smaller cons, then you don't have to wait in lines as long. And they had really good guests. So if you guys are in the Pennsylvania area and are looking for a good horror con, I recommend PA Horror Con. Definitely check it out. All right, I'll let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.